As global economies have become interconnected, families with substantial wealth are seeking various opportunities to diversify their investments, not only in their own jurisdiction, but as well in jurisdictions overseas as well. That essentially brings us to a question all the time, how can I do that and what is the most effective structure? And the answer to that is family offices provides you this opportunity to diversify your wealth in another jurisdiction, to have access to instruments which you would not otherwise have, and to also create a sort of a structure for succession planning and to empower your future generations. The idea then is how can I do it and is it something that's permissible under the Indian law? Recent amendments to the Overseas Investment Regulations, which was undertaken in the end of 2022, has really provided a few specific definitions in terms of, for example, financial services is now defined as well as provided relaxations for creating a structure of this nature overseas. There are certain conditions to be met. For example, the first aspect is to identify the right entity. Say, for example, if you choose a non-banking financial company in India, which is profitable, which has sufficient uh, net-owned funds, so that's fund availability, which also uh, is uh, an entity with a good track record. Once you've found this entity, your next question really is, in which jurisdiction should I set this up? Uh, a few popular jurisdictions are Singapore and Dubai, uh, followed by the gift city. Singapore, obviously, because it has a well-established family office regime, as well as tax incentive and exemptions available for such companies. Dubai, on the other hand, does have a family office regime, as in the DIFC, uh, ADGM, DWTC, and also has a sort of a logistical advantage in terms of accessibility, relocation, and availability of Indian resources will obviously also need to ensure that the way you approach the setup, the compliance requirements that are involved are duly taken care of. Because the last thing one wants is to have a structure which becomes only more and more valuable but has regulatory concerns or regulatory questions around it. So if one has carefully sought advice, created an appropriate structure, sought the appropriate approvals and licenses in both the jurisdictions, they will certainly have an added advantage and their future generations will have access to a, a good pool of wealth already created over a period of time which is dollarized and available uh, to access in future.